in your region, not only in Northern region, all region. You will first and foremost give a notice to the regional executive telling what is coming to do, or what is the, the meeting going to be about. Send it to you with a program giving you mandated to invite all regional uh, officers to the region. Then the regional executive will prepare a meeting ground and also to send notice to all regional uh, constituency executives telling them if it is two people, if it is women organizer, if it is organizer, if it is youth organizer that they are wanted in the region. Did Madam Otiko meet some of these conditions that you are speaking about? Madam Otiko, nobody, no region, no. We, the regional executive, no single person know that she was coming to the region. It was just, uh, I just arrived from Accra and I was in the house not less than three hours when I heard that there was trouble booming in at uh, this modern city, that he has gathered the women organizers and then some sec cross section of the regional women, the uh, youth, and then they were, some were attacking her and she was also, their group was also attacking the other. So when I was called, I rushed there, when I got there, the tension was too much, and therefore I met. And I, I never condemned attack or two in person. After looking at the issue, I just told them that a meeting was illegal. Why? Why? Because she had no right to enter the region. Invited the whole regional uh, women organizers and their deputy. Would that first of all, no regional executive know? It was just a, a conspiracy meeting. Conspiracy to what? Conspiracy to what it was he, uh, he called them about. He said the first lady uh, sent her. No any document proved to me that the first lady was sending her. I'm very close among all the regional and the national executive. I'm more close to the first lady because I don't do anything without hiding her. When I go to Accra, I meet her, I go to her house, I take my breakfast there at times, and even uh, I drink my, my wine, uh, pack some of the wine to my house or my office to drink. So I don't believe what you're saying that the first lady sent her. The first lady never sent her. I asked her, what is the, the, the proof from the first lady? Secondly, even if the fair lady send you, the fair lady never asks you to disregard the structures and read down regulation of the party. No, what she did was totally wrong. And I, I just put uh, to, to stop because they wanted to be there. And if the women were to be there, what well, he did, he do call them to Accra. When they arrive, they go to her. Hey, I've cancelled the meeting, I've cancelled the meeting. A lot of women complain. A lot. So even I tell them where to sleep was a problem to them. Transport back was a problem to them. Where to get food to eat has been a problem. So they mean her. And I saw that the best thing was to do, to come in, tell them that they should be patient and forget about what she was doing and tell herself that what she was doing was illegal. And she started insulting me. I've taken bribe, taken gold, getting power, cow. I am coming to find out from her. She should show me the person who give me money or I ask for money. The person who give me cow or I ask for cow. The person who give me sheep or goat if I ask for it. I'm coming to ask her, I need evidence. If no evidence, I'm putting her before court. Chairman, she made this statement she has gone back to Accra. As you mean that you intend writing to a national executive? Well, uh, the regional executive yesterday had taken some actions. One, the deputy woman organizer, who is a Gwenja, and she, Otuko, is a Gwenja. Me, regional. Uh, uh, regional. And then the uh, constituency woman organizer, Kosh Raya, who is also a Gwenja. And these are the people he is gang up to destabilize my region. And then I want uh, one woman organizer from Tamale South. We are going to take disciplinary measures on them. As I'm talking to you now, yesterday the regional executive committee met, met and the decision it was on, on my, uh, all the executives yesterday sanctioned that we should suspend it. So she's one suspended at the regional uh, deputy woman organizer. It's on suspension. And then the, we are asking Tamale uh, Central and Tamale South to discipline the the, uh, the, the other two women organizers in the same way. So, Chairman, going forward, how do you intend regulating 
the entry on marginal executive regarding the welfare of the party? Yes. Otiko is known, he's known to be a troubleshooter in the party. As soon as uh, you could remember Alaji Adams, Mahama, certainly dead when he was bad with uh, acid. When he was bad with acid. The same secret meeting, they came to Tamale and go secret meeting from Tamale, they continued to Bolgatanga and do the same secret meeting, follow up the killing of Adam. And you'll be surprised. Some of these people who must have made the killing of Adam, some of them have come to take position in the in the government. Some of them, like who? Like the Northern uh, Upper East Regional Minister. He was deeply involved in the Matama killing of Adam. Hey, they, uh, 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 send him, they, 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 no, they send him, the constituency organizer who's supposed to be Paul Afogo's younger brother. He's also been given a distinctive executive. We are not going to sit down to allow this. People who will come and destroy our government to come and spoil our government. In fact, we are, we the council, the regional chairman, we have been talking each other since yesterday, and we are not going to take it like that. Right. Chairman, uh, it's like the whole thing boils down to school feeding program. I heard her saying that you have no right to talk about school feeding. Uh, she has not come here to talk about school feeding. Well, so far that I know, I, did, I have no right to talk school feeding. And I have even no right to talk in about in appointment because I don't have power mandate. But somewhere three, four months ago, uh, Sulaya came to tell me she wants school feeding. And I told her I have no power. She should go to uh, uh, Flatter House and meet the president. Who has given her appointment letter. And that I was the trouble, I was obstacle in her appointment. So he organized the whole regional women organizers and their deputies to come and confront me here. Yeah. Yes, and I told them that I don't know that she has been given an appointment and that I have no hand in, in the appointment. The old man hasn't told me that he has appointed her. So anyone who says so should go and confront her. She must, she should show them the letter. Having done this, she went back and told Tamale Central Youth, youth Group. They came here and break all my divinities I put to receive youth and people. They were scattered and broke some of them. I called the constituency chairman and called the uh, regional executive to see what Zelaya has come to do. Again, she said, I wanted uh, that she is, well, uh, the, the Utiko has given her an uh, appointment as a school feeding. She was going to, be, to travel either to Europe with uh, Otiko for some of the school feeding work. She really left the region and then went with Otiko and came back with Otiko. She's using all this thing to say that she's the owner and the person Otiko has appointed. Otiko do mention to people that what the, she has appointed Hey, and also appointment is also given to the deputy regional women organizer Sophia as a metro school feeding. So she is giving an appointment and therefore she can go ahead. Me, the president had called me about two, three times to tell me that a school feeding program he has appointed Madam Felicia Tete, the Kurubama uh, director. And that's what I know. If it's what the president told me, uh, anybody who comes to ask me, I'll say this is what I've been told by the president. The issue where uh, Madam Otiko said you came to destroy her meeting is the issue that he said you did it in discipline, in a disciplined manner. Well, Otiko has been a controversial woman in the party. It, as I'm telling you, this Adam issue, she was definitely involved. She was definitely involved. So because of that, most of we people who know her, who call her a controversial woman, a woman who has married, the husband is a doctor for magistrate. She's supposed to be called Mrs. Dr. Tapam. Nobody knows that Otiko is married. Whatever she do, she do it without any missus. She, the husband is sick. He has locked the husband in the house. 
He doesn't give her food to eat. The woman, children, the man, children, I don't get angry to go and prepare food for their father. So such a woman is irresponsible. In Tamil here, yeah, everybody know. Is she sure of telling me that I am taking gold and sheep and cows and money? Can she come out and say, I've taken money from this man. I've taken cows from this man. I've taken gold from this man. He should come out. So, Chairman, you say you want her to apologize, right? I will not ask her to apologize. I'm going to take her to court. Why, why don't you use the structures? The, the last, she's been doing the that. Uh, Chairman. She's, uh, the, the, the court has been doing that. Everybody in the party is fed up with her. The president is don't want to take any action against her. So I am not going to wait for her to apologize. I'll take her to court.